I'm Sharon and this is Hooked on Books. Welcome. Now I have already done this video but I'm going to do this video again and that's because I loved it so much the first time. Why not do it again? Because you know who needs creative new fresh ideas? It's the five star prediction video, round two. Now I recently read all the books that I predicted were going to be five stars and I did a video of them so I may well do that again in the future. Um, I'm not necessarily planning on picking these up straight away but who knows I might do. Um, but let me get on to the books and I'll tell you what I think are going to be five star reads for me. First up is Tamara Drew by Posey Simmons. Um, now I read Cassandra Dark which is her most recent graphic novel. Um, I read that in January this year and I absolutely loved it and it absolutely has got me back into graphic novels again because I kind of haven't read any for a while and it kind of reminded me what I like in graphic novels so I like my literary graphic novels, I like my memoir graphic novels and I found that Cassandra Dark was so fucking brilliant that I just needed to read more from, from the same person which I, I very rarely do that um, so that says a lot for that one. Um, so Cassandra Dark, I just, what I loved about it is that the characters were so unlikable but there was so much depth to them and I sometimes, you know, I love characters in graphic novels a lot of the time. I love their kind of personality and, and how they're presented and stuff but I felt like in Cassandra Dark they, they had so much depth, you know, you got them in all their flaws and everything and I loved it and the story was great, the art style was great, everything was fucking great. So off the back of that I picked up Tamara Drew which I believe is her more well-known one. I didn't think this is quite as dark I guess as Cassandra Dark is um, but other than that I don't know a huge amount about it but I don't need to because I love that one so much I'm really hoping that I'm going to love this one just as much. Um, for me graphic novels if the art style is strong enough then it will bump it up. If I read something that's a really good narrative but it's not got a good art style then I probably won't like it as much um, which is interesting because in books a lot of the time the, the language used um, the way it's written is usually really important to me um, but in graphic novels the art style t to a certain extent matters more to me. Anyway we'll see how I get on with this one. If you've read it let me know what you think um, and if you've read Cassandra Dark as well. Um, but yeah that's that one. Next up is Mouthful of Birds which is just the most glorious fucking cover ever. Look at that. Just look at it. Just take a moment and look at it. Amazing. This is a selection of short stories by Samantha Schweblin. Samantha Schweblin. Samantha Schweblin. And her first book, um, Fever Dream, I fucking loved. I've read it twice, both times in one setting, and every time it blows my mind. It was just weird, mind bending, brilliant. And yeah, I loved it. And because of that, I was so, so excited about this one. Now, she actually wrote this one first, but it was translated second. Um, but I love how it's been published. And uh, I just I just have faith that I'm going to love this. And I don't read short stories that often and I always really want to. And I think if I'm going to read anyone's short stories, it's going to be this girl. Similar to Tamara Drew, it's, it's really off the back of having read the author's other works that I really believe that this is going to be fucking great. Next up is The Lies of Locke Lamora. In my last five star prediction video, I picked The Name of the Wind and I picked that one and I owned that one because it was popular. Similarly, I own this one and I'm picking this one because it's popular. I don't read a huge amount of fantasy, so often I kind of trust the popularity and usually, in my experience, it has actually been right. It's never right in terms of fiction. Well, sometimes it is, but I'm a bit more wary of popularity in fiction. Whereas in fantasy, I feel like I usually, usually end up liking it. Um, so I don't actually know a huge amount about what this is about, but I just have faith that I'm going to like it. Um, if you watch my last five star prediction video, um, you will have found out that I, I that I did give five stars to The Name of the Wind, so I'm really hoping that that's going to happen with this one too. Next up we've got My Year of Rest and Relaxation. Now I read Eileen by the same author a couple of years ago when it was shortlisted for the Booker. Now I didn't necessarily think it was Booker worthy, but I did really enjoy it. The character was really unlikable, um, but because of that it was such a well drawn strong character and a character that I, I you know I still really remember um, and I off the back of that I did think I would like to read more from that author. Now I really love this I remember when it came in the cover of it just instantly stood out to me I like that you've kind of got this bold pink um, that feels kind of modern against this image that feels very old um, and this real sort of apathetic look in this woman's eye so I love the cover of it and I, what, what I know of this is it's basically about a woman who spends her life in bed and that it's a real sort of commentary on alienation and there's some drugs and psychiatry evolved in here as well. Um, my colleague who I used to work with just texted me the other week actually and said that I would love this he'd just finished it and we've got very similar tastes so based on that 
I think that I'm going to love it. It's a great cover, great premise, and someone that I trust has said that I'm going to love it. Therefore, I believe that this is going to be a five star. Mm -hmm. My camera has died and the card has been full about 10 million times filming this video, so it's probably a bit of a mess, but there you go. Hello, it's Sharon from the future. I'm very tired. I'm about to go to work. Fuck my life. The final book that I think is going to be five stars is this one, which is Madness Explained, Psychosis and Human Nature. So I quite like my popular psychology books and I think I'm going to really, really enjoy this one. It's quite quite a chunky one um, and I think it's going to be quite interesting looking into psychiatry, looking into what is madness. Um, I think it's going to be really eye-opening and I think I'm going to enjoy it, especially because I read The Divided Self and it's it's looking at similar things. Um, this is a little bit of an older one written in the 60s I think it was um, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I find it really eye-opening and it kind of altered and changed my perspective on things quite a lot so I'm kind of hoping that this one is going to have a similar sort of um, effect on me so that's the final one that I think is going to be five stars. These are the five books that I have predicted that are going to be five star reads for me. If you've read them, if you know of them, if you don't know of them, if you like the look of them, if you don't like the look of them, tell me all your thoughts, all your feelings, everything that's going on. <laughs> there you go. Thank you for watching and I shall see you again in my next video. Bye bye.